Good morning, guys. Today is day number 16. And this morning, I'm going to do this walk alone. Uh, everyone else said they didn't feel like getting up. To be honest, neither did I. I did not feel like getting up. But uh, I did it in the name of Jesus Christ. I had to ask for some extra strength, Lord. Help me get out this bed because it's feeling really comfortable in here. That pillow was fluffy. And I was enjoying it. <laughs> but uh, I made a true commitment to God to do this 30 days. And um, by all means, I will finish it in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay. I hope you all are keeping up with your commitment, whatever you dedicated to the Lord. Continue to go forward with. And don't let nothing and no one stop you. Okay, but anyway, this morning, I was doing my studies out of 2 Samuel 24, 15 through 25, and out of all the reading I did, out of everything that I read, what hit me was this one little section, and it says, I won't offer to the Lord my God burnt offering that cost me nothing. Mm. I won't offer to my Lord, to the Lord my God burnt offering that cost me nothing. Now, good morning. Good morning. Now, the reason why that hit me is because I'm like, okay, he's saying, I won't offer burnt offering to the Lord my God that cost me nothing. Now see if you read back a little bit they was offering him gifts. They were so happy to see him there. They was offering him gifts and everything for free. They was giving him all kind of stuff for free and he said no I'll pay for it. But even what I pay for, you know, he said, I'm not going to offer burnt offering to my God that cost me nothing. And that took me, took my mind all the way back to Cain and Abel. Cain and Abel. Because I was wondering, is this what happened to Cain and Abel? You know, because how can you take your time to go work in the field and do things and then give it to the Lord and he overlooks it like it's nothing, you know? He looks at it like he don't even count it as a blessing. So... That story reminded me of that because I, I asked myself, is this what happened to Cain? He offered the Lord something that cost him nothing. Now his brother, Abel, the Bible talks about how Abel gave the best. The best from the firstborn. Because see, Cain was a former and Abel he was the shepherd of the flocks. He took care of the animals. You know. So. What was the difference? Why did God accept one gift and not the other? When they both gave. From what they were used to. Working with. The difference is. Cain. It didn't cost him nothing. What he did. Just went out there half-hearted. Didn't think about it. Just start picking up stuff off the ground. Didn't even give any consideration about what he was giving to the Lord. He just like did it half-hearted. Now he gave from the ground, which that's where all his stuff come from. He was a former. 
And we all know former, they till the ground. All this stuff is coming from the ground. So what's the problem? If he's giving from the ground that he's working. He also gave from the bottom of his heart, <laughs> the ground of his heart. He gave God the bottom of his heart. He did not even take it from the top. He did not even put no thought into it. It was like here, I don't have time because it's gonna cost me to go out there and take my time to walk through this field and pick out what's best for you. Just be satisfied with what I give you. Abel, on the other hand, it says he gave the best. He gave the best of the firstborn. Now, the best part of the firstborn. So the thing about that is to give the best part of anything, to give the best fruit, to give the best cattle, to give the best corn, apple, oranges, anything. Even to give our best clothing out of our closet. It takes time and honesty to go through it, look at it, examine it, and make sure it is worthy to give. And then on top of that, it's something that's dear to your heart. Now, the firstborn of anything is always dear to someone's heart. Usually, a first animal on a farm becomes like a family member. The children become adapted to it and everyone plays with it and love it. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone plays with it and love that pet. It's like a family member. And to have to give up that firstborn, it ain't easy. It's not easy at all. So his blessing came from taking his time and truly giving from his heart what was dear to him. And that's a sacrifice. And then when we be like Cain and just give from the ground without even thinking what we're doing at that moment is giving from the bottom of our heart. Hello. <laughs> Good morning, sir. We're giving from the bottom of our heart. And what we're saying is, this is some of my leftovers. I don't have time to go out here and pick every nice piece of corn. I don't have time to go through my closet. It was so much junk in there. I just grabbed whatever I could and give it to you. That's the reason why Cain gift was not worthy. And so many times we ourselves do that because we think I'm gonna pay my tithes. I'm gonna pay my offering. And what we do is say, you know what? I'm just gonna throw it in the plate because this is what he said to do. I'm gonna just go ahead and give my tithes and offering. And that's a blessing. But that great sacrifice comes from you taking your time to get up out your comfort zone and do something that's gonna truly cost you. Give up something that's dear to your heart. It's easy, people, to give out of your house things that you call junk. But it's hard to give out of your house something. Good morning. <laughs> it is really hard to give out of your house something that's dear to you. You know, you can have a hundred pairs of shoes in your closet. And you hear your brothers and sisters saying that they need some. And what you do, go find the one <laughs> that you barely wear, you don't care about, and it don't hardly look good to you. Because you know what? 
I like those shoes. Even if I don't hardly wear them. I like those shoes right there. And I ain't gonna give up my best shoes. They cost me too much money. Those are the ones you ought to give up. Those are the ones we're supposed to give up. The ones that our eyes see. The ones that our eyes connect with so tough that it do something to our heart, mind, body, and soul. The moment the Lord said, that's the one right there. Those are the pair of shoes right there. Give it away. Baby, if that's what happened to you, those are the ones. <laughs> Don't get fooled by thinking you did a great thing by giving her something that did not cost you, that did not tremble your nerves, that did not make you break a sweat. If that item or if that gift or if even taking your time to tell someone that you love them and you know, good morning, and you know in your heart that you and that person don't get along, but God tell you, hey, pick up the phone and tell them, I love you no matter what. Please forgive me no matter what. If you get a little butterfly in your stomach by having to do something like that, if something good going to make you feel sick, I promise you, the majority of the time, that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> because ain't none of us really going to want to give up the good. We're not going to want to give up the goods. Uh -uh. And the Lord knows it. Abraham did not want to just give up his son. But his love for the Lord was stronger than anything. And God knew it. And so, guys, the whole point of the story is make sure your sacrifice is worthy to be praised. Make sure your offering to the Lord is a true offering. Because if anybody else sitting beside you, standing beside you, or watching you, they can think, oh, they're giving the best. Oh, they gave so much. Oh, they did this, they did that. But baby, only you and God knows what that meant to you. What those gifts meant to you. What that time you spent get meant to you. You don't want to give up only 30 minutes of a day because you only have two hours. So here you go dividing your 30 minutes and giving it to the Lord. Because you got to use the rest of it for yourself. Ain't nothing wrong with using some time for yourself. Trust me. I love my time for myself. But if God tell me at that moment, call it today, is all my time. I'm like, oh, Lord Jesus. <laughs> but okay. If that's what you want today, that's what I'm going to have to do today. Give it to the Lord. It's his anyway. Because you never know. Tomorrow he'll bless it. Tomorrow he'll multiply it. Tomorrow he would just bring so much time on you where you can complete all tasks. And you'd be wondering, how in the world did I do all this in one day? Because he know how to multiply. You won't even see it. But it all get done. So guys, make sure our sacrifice is worthy of a praise. And make sure whatever you offer to the Lord is worthy and valuable to you and to him. And it has to be something that you truly found yourself working for. Mentally, spiritually, or physically. Don't give him something that don't mean a thing to you. Don't just throw things at the Lord. If you want to get your blessing, get it by giving all that you have your very best. Okay? Love you guys.